to work, the Earth and the <laughs> Venus have to be in the same orbital plane. It's very, very... Um, uh, but on the East Coast, it's a pretty good spot. Um, the you can see the start of the transit if the skies were clear, and we are having a little bit of a trouble of trouble with that now with the cloud cover. But it is a once in a lifetime um, opportunity to see it. We will not see this again for until the year 2117. Just makes it more interesting too. And plus, on top of it, it's our anniversary, so it's a once in a lifetime. <laughs> and you can't even tell where the sun is because it's so overcast. I guess I'll go try to find something online and watch it that way. This is an extremely rare event, uh, even for astro even on astronomical terms. I mean, this only occurs uh, roughly once every 120 years or so, and in pairs eight years apart. So um, this is the last one most of us living are ever going to get to see. The next one's not until 2117. Uh, and in the 20th century, there was not one the entire century. So, so it's a very rare astronomical event. Uh, and it's one of those things as a result that I thought it would be cool for people to have an opportunity to view. And unlike looking at a comet or uh, even a solar eclipse, you need special equipment to do it. You need a, a telescope or binoculars with solar filters of some point. And I have those of some type. And I have those. So I thought it would be something worthwhile to share with.